Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. You know, the weather pattern is about to take a major change, so we're looking for a couple of mild days before temperatures not likely to see anything better than the 50s. Satellite image this morning shows uh, fairly clear skies over the state, but unfortunately there's a good deal of fog out there, and uh, that fog not showing up really well on the infrared picture simply because it's basically the color or the temperature of uh, that near the ground. The um, weather pattern features large high pressure, much like we saw yesterday, but the system that we're looking uh, to uh, come through our area on Tuesday and early Wednesday is beginning to take shape in the northern Rockies. The upper air pattern features this ridge over the eastern part of the country, but say goodbye to this ridge. It's going to be moseying out into the Atlantic as it's replaced by a nice trough. The uh, weather observations across the southeast show a good deal of fog, and indeed, uh, you can see from the watch warning map, all that gray area indicating fog advisories, dense fog advisories. Now, across the uh, northern uh, Rockies and out into uh, the northern Plains states, we have uh, lots of uh, weather going on. Uh, the purples are winter weather advisories, uh, and uh, the... Uh, Aqua colors you see are winter weather watches. Uh, we've got the browns are also some high uh, wind advisories. And then down in Southern California, that red is high fire danger. QPF, the quantitative precipitation forecast, features uh, rainfall across the southeast, basically uh, on the order of about uh, a half to three quarters of an inch with perhaps uh, one to one and a quarter inches for some locations in some of the heavier thunderstorms. Uh, SPC has uh, just a couple of uh, circles of thunderstorms forecast for day one. That's today. For Monday, uh, they do have a marginal risk ahead of that front uh, in Missouri and parts of Arkansas. And then on day three, which is Tuesday, we see that they're just uh, outlooking thunderstorms. So across the southeastern U.S. and into Alabama, we're not expecting any severe weather with this system. All right, the 06 -E -G GFS model run, and there's the surface high uh, over the eastern part of the country, and we see the um, surface low developing in the northern Rockies. By uh, Monday, that surface low has deepened quite a lot, and it's coming out across parts of uh, the southern part of uh, Minnesota. In the meantime, we're still experiencing the good weather that uh, high pressure brings, but the moisture is beginning to return as it comes around, as the wind comes around to the south. In the upper atmosphere, we're seeing the ridge move off the east coast, but look at that trough beginning to develop, and that thing is going to dig into the eastern U.S. We see that on Tuesday. It's really digging in as the closed low moves up north of the Great Lakes, but the trough digging into the eastern part of the country. And uh, the surface low moves also to the area just to the north of the Great Lakes in Canada with a cold front sweeping out from that and down across the southeastern United States. So it looks like the primary uh, rain threat for central Alabama is going to come from very late morning on Tuesday, uh, probably into the very early uh, morning hours of Wednesday. It uh, does not look like we're going to have any severe weather with this. Uh, the Cape values are sufficient for us to see an embedded thunderstorm or so, uh, but it just doesn't look like the instability values are just going to be that high. By Wednesday, we see that we do have a nice broad trough carved out over the eastern part of the country, and that trough, while it will be reinforced, it's going to be there for a good while. The front by Wednesday at midday, well off uh, out of our area, uh, off into the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we see another impulse coming into the trough uh, there over uh, Iowa and uh, parts of uh, eastern uh, Kansas and into Oklahoma. 
So that's going to help to reinforce the cold air. That one moves on, but we have another one right behind it, sharpening up that uh, trough quite a bit. And we do have a series of low-pressure systems that will be forming over the um, Ohio River Valley, one moving off into the Atlantic on Friday while another one forms there. And by Friday, the thickness values, wow, this is even colder than we saw yesterday. Uh, the 540 line was making it just into North Alabama. Now uh, the GFS is projecting the 540 line to go all the way to northwest Florida. The trough really is sharp on Saturday, and it looks like Saturday and Sunday we're going to see high pressure, cold air advection, and it looks like probably for Saturday and Sunday temperatures in the 20s. The GFS on the Moss Guidance actually printing out a 21 for Sunday morning. Sunday, the trough still very, very sharp, so it looks like it's going to be a very, very cold day on Sunday. Looking out into voodoo country, the thing that's important here is that we, as we go through the, these various charts, that the uh, trough just remains in place. There's the 13th of December. There's the 16th of December, and while the trough is you know, changing and morphing a little bit, uh, it's still there. And then by the end of the period, 372 hours out, around the 18th of December, we see that it's uh, moved off, the trough has moved off, and we are seeing some weak ridging. I don't know, just the nature of the way this looks, uh, I think that the ridging is not going to last long, and we could see another uh, troughiness develop over uh, the eastern part of the country. But that's beyond voodoo country, way beyond. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. James Spann will be back with uh, the, the uh, next Weather Extreme video bright and early Monday morning. In the meantime, you can catch the latest forecast. I'll be filling in for Charles Daniel on ABC 3340 News at 5 and 10 this evening. So tune in and get the latest. Have a great day. Godspeed. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.